Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today I'm here talking about how to get an offer accepted in this competitive real estate market. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching. You know, today, one of the biggest things that I hear is buyer's frustrations about not being able to get offers accepted. Most condos have three to four to five offers on them, if not more, and most single family homes can have upwards of 30 or 40 or even 50 offers on them. So it's really tough to make your offer stand out. So how are we doing it? How are we getting our buyer's offers accepted? It's a great question. There's a number of things that we do up front with our buyers to really make sure that we put them in the strongest position possible. Now, first of all, we make sure that they're with a qualified, terrific lender who's going to get them the best service possible and interest rates. So the first thing that we do is make sure that they get all of their documentation to that lender. We have a number of preferred lenders that we do work with that we are happy to recommend and connect them up depending on what their needs are. So those lenders get them fully underwritten. They make sure that all the documentation is provided, all the verification of employments, if, if needed, are there. So that when we go to write an offer, frankly, we can pretty much remove a loan contingency because we are 100% certain that that buyer is going to be able to qualify for their loan. There's not gonna be any surprises down the line. That's the first thing. Plus, a lot of the lenders we work with have a great reputation here in the community. So other agents are more likely to accept an offer from us because of that. The second thing that we do is obviously one of the big issues for a seller is price. So we make sure that we aren't maxing out our clients. So if someone is qualified for $850,000 and that's the max they want to spend, we're generally backing off that top end price. Many times offers are coming in up to 16% over list price. So that's very common that we see offers 20, 30, 40, 50 or more above list price depending on the particular property. So we wanna give people room to be able to go up and be competitive and still stay within their comfort zone. So that's a really critical factor because obviously price is a factor. With that being said, one of the other things that we look at with our buyers is strength of down payment. Unfortunately, in today's market, if you have only three and a half or 5% down, it can make you a much weaker buyer. So we can look at a number of different options of maybe using money from a retirement account or friends or family who may be able to gift that to you to help us support more down payment for you. And we'll look at those options for an individual buyer on a case by case basis to see what makes the most sense. With that being said, the sellers are concerned that if they accept your offer on a, pr a certain price, they want to know that they're going to get that price at the end of the day. So if for some reason the appraisal were to come in a little low, then they want to know that you're still going to be able to pay that price. And this is where having some additional funds to be able to put towards that is really critical and sometimes even removing appraisal contingencies. Because ultimately, a property is worth what a buyer is willing to buy it for and what a seller is willing to sell it for. The appraisers are just there to double check and protect the banks. And then the fourth and last thing that a seller is really looking for is a nice clean offer. So we are always talking to the listing agent to find out what's important for the seller. Now, if they wanna make sure that the seller, the buyer is not coming back and asking for a bunch of repairs, then we're gonna address that up front. Especially if the house is in clean, great condition, it's very common that we buy the properties as is and not go back and renegotiate a bunch of repairs after the fact. In addition, the sellers may need to find another property or may need a rent back after closing. So we try to put all that information together in our initial uh, offer so that there's not having to be a bunch of back and forth and the sellers know how motivated our clients are to get that particular piece of property if it's the right one for them. So obviously we have other tricks up our sleeve as well to help our buyers get offers accepted and it's going to vary depending on the individual situation. However, we're having great successes with getting our offers accepted 
and we can help you or your friends and family as well. So if you know anyone who is frustrated, who's writing offer after offer and not getting them accepted, have them give us a call and we'd be happy to help them in their home buying journey. Remember, if they need to buy or sell, give me a call at 562-316-2915 or you can reach me at melinda at Thanks so much for watching and please forward and share this with your friends.